focus of this module is going to be cipher suites. And in this lesson, I want to provide a proper definition of a cipher suite. Throughout this course, we've discussed that for a client and a server to securely exchange data with one another, there are four things that they need. First, they're going to need some sort of authentication in order to verify the server's identity. Then, they're going to need some sort of symmetric encryption in order to provide confidentiality for bulk data transfer between the client and the server. Then, they're going to need some sort of hashing algorithm, which they will use within a message authentication code for data integrity. And finally, since symmetric encryption and MAX require secret keys, we're going to need some sort of key exchange protocol to generate the necessary keys. If this client and this server have all four of these things, they have everything they need to securely speak to one another. Now, so far in this course, we've been discussing these four items as concepts. However, at some point, the client and the server are going to have to agree upon specific protocols to actually achieve each of these goals. That is what a cipher suite is. A cipher suite is going to define the actual protocols that we'll use to secure the communication between the client and the server. One cipher suite is actually going to define four elements, a key exchange protocol, an authentication protocol, a symmetric encryption protocol, and a hashing algorithm. Here is what a cipher suite looks like. And somewhere within this long string of letters are all four of these items. DHE is our key exchange. RSA is our authentication algorithm. AS-256 CBC is our symmetric encryption protocol. And finally, at the end, SHA is what we're using for hashing. Here is another cipher suite. This cipher suite has different protocols for key exchange, authentication, and encryption, and happens to be using the same protocol for hashing. Here is yet another cipher suite. Now, this one's a little bit trickier because one protocol is actually doing both the key exchange and the authentication. RSA is actually handling both of those. Then you have RC4128 for your symmetric encryption, and finally, MD5 as your hashing algorithm. And here are two additional cipher suites. These two are actually the least secure and the most secure cipher suites as of the time of this recording. And in each case, both of these cipher suites still provide four elements. Now, when a client and a server are speaking to one another, they are not creating cipher suites on the fly. They're actually choosing from a list of pre-built cipher suites. This list is maintained and defined by IANA, and you can see the entire list at this website. This is the list of pre-built cipher suites from IANA, and you can see that there's a decent amount of cipher suites that exist, all of which provide different protocols for key exchange, authentication, encryption, and hashing. Now, rather than try and go through each cipher suite in this list to discuss the pros and cons of each, what we are instead going to do is go through each of the most common protocols you'll see for each cryptographic function. The next few lessons in this module will pick apart key exchanges and look at all the different key exchange protocols that exist, then authentication and the various authentication protocols that exist, and then of course encryption and the symmetric encryption protocols that exist, and finally hashing and the various hashing algorithms that exist. We'll be doing this so that you can then have an idea of which cipher suites are overall strong or overall weak and why. Now, I'll also mention right here that TLS 1.3 does change the way cipher suites work, but we'll be unpacking all of that in the module of this course where we discuss TLS 1.3 specifically. So that's it for this lesson. The main purpose was to define a cipher suite, show you what they look like, and show you how to pick apart the four elements inside each cipher suite. I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey YouTube, if you enjoyed that lesson, then you'll also enjoy the full course that it came from, Practical TLS. It's a deep dive into SSL and TLS, taught methodically and intentionally, full of easy illustrations and in the simplest way possible. You'll get to learn cryptography, certificates, private keys, the handshake, OpenSSL, and everything you need to become an SSL expert. To learn more, check out pracnet.net slash TLS, and if you need more convincing that this is the best TLS training course, then check out the other free lesson previews on YouTube. Thank you and have a great day.